Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to go over another data processing tip, particularly when you're dealing with mass spec or other complex analytical data. And in the first video, we looked at splitting retention time in the pairs when they're stored as a single column. And now in this video, I want to go over how we can visualize multiple complex spectra. So this could be Raman spectra, IR, mass spec, NMR. Um, there are a number of ways, and this way I want to demonstrate is a heat map. And so let's say we've got a data set that looks like this, and I want to clean it up first by setting the index equal to M over Z. And so now we have our M over Z as our index. And let's say if we want to plot that data. So we just do a quick plot and it looks pretty complex. We will just add the legend equals false to remove it. And you see that it's really difficult to see what's going on. We have a lot of different samples. They're overlapping. Even if we were to zoom in on a particular region, it could still be really difficult to get some context about these samples. And so one way around this is to change how we think about visualizing the plots, because even if we were to add the subplots equal true argument, it could still be kind of difficult to build in all the context we need for these plots. Let's switch to another alternative. So let's take our set index. Let's take this data frame and take another and take another step at how we might plot it. So let's just call this heat map data frame. And that just gives us a cleaner way to run this. And then let's use the, the sns.heatmap method, heat map. And for the data, let's just pass in heat map df and just start with the default parameters. And so pretty quickly, you can see how we can already get a better sense of what's going on, where the X axis are the samples, the Y axis are the M over Z values for each sample. And then the intensity of this color is related to the intensity of these respective points. And so without much preparation, you can see that we're already able to get a better sense of the patterns that exist within various classes of compounds. Let's make it a little bit larger. Here to do that, we will use the PLT. So this is for matplotlib that figure, and then we'll just update the fig size argument. And let's just set it equal to 16 by nine and pass this as a tuple. And so here you can see we have all of our samples there. Now, one of the challenges can be sometimes when you have these heat maps, um, they, because of the false color scaling, it can be difficult to see some of these other minor points. And so we can also in, uh, alter the scaling. Let's say I want to take the square root of, of all these points. And so the, the range is more compressed. So you can say here that the low value is near zero and the high value is near 3000 counts. And if we take the square root, you see that now our low value remains near zero, but the highest value is closer to about 60. And so through this compression, we can see more of these smaller signals as we have now reduced the overall range um, to be in a much smaller area. Also, it's more clear that you can see how some of these patterns exist. So the E. coli has a certain band that's consistent with the fatty acid signal. The Pomani also has a similar type of band, whereas this Lawafi has a, a distinct pattern. And even we can begin to see how some of these samples might appear very, very distinct, such as this facium, which has a peak around 544 and maybe another band around 445. And so now you can see these patterns exist and a very good way to visualize data when you have a lot of complex spectra that you want to show. And in particular, when you have shareholders that aren't necessarily interested in looking at all of the chromatograms or mass spectra individually, this is a great way to summarize. In the next video, I'll show you how we can take this plot and actually do some machine learning on it to sort these based on how similar they are to each other and can help us to derive some insight visually from this complex mass spec data. If you want to be notified when that video is published, subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the content, like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.